Go Red for Women, Supporting Education for Heart Health. That's why Friday, many will go red for women to show support for cardiovascular health. The goal is to encourage women to take charge of their heart health. Heart disease started to increase across the U.S. about 15 years ago. That's when the American Heart Association started Go Red for Women to dispel myths that heart issues only face men and to get women to pay attention. When I first came here I was short of breath, very, very short of breath, said Hazel Rouse. Rouse first thought she had a lung problem. But that changed when she visited Drive. Rick and Patel, a cardiologist at the South Bend Clinic. Those symptoms could truly manifest as heart disease and so people do need to realize that. They don't have to just read the book and know the exact continue for what you know heart. Disease should be. It could be anything, said Dr. Patel. I haven't had nor did I ever think that I would have any kind of heart problems, Rouse said. She was diagnosed with heart failure. She thought it was time to get her affairs in order. But Dr. Patel has her on a new medication and is pushing her to exercise and to eat more fresh vegetables and cut out salt. Now, just a few months post-diagnosis, I think I'm fine. I'm going to be here for a little longer. Maybe until 80 to 85. I plan on it, Rouse said. I'm taking my own health into my own hands. Rouse is thankful and hopes her story will push others to get a checkup and choose healthy habits. I'd say get at it so you can get on with your life. Don't ignore it. Please don't ignore it. I don't know if I would be in a different place if I had ignored it, she said. Anyone is at risk of getting heart disease. Especially if heart problems and stroke run in your family. Chest pain, pressure or tightness or shortness of breath could indicate some type of heart disease. Doctors say you should get checked out if you notice any significant changes in how you feel. Go Red for Women Day, Portage Woman spreads awareness after diagnosis. To bring awareness to the staggering statistic. People across the country will be wearing Red Friday for Go Red for Women Day. Doctors say the big problem is too many women don't pay attention to the symptoms. Melissa Johnson has congenital heart disease. It's something she will live with for the rest of her life. But since she discovered it only three years ago, she's been working to make sure others are aware of their risks. Three years ago she was at work at Access Point in Portage when she passed out. From there came a major diagnosis. I was born with a congenital heart defect that was not discovered until I was 37 years old. Said Johnson. She's since been in and out of the office as she works to stay healthy. Over the last three years I've had two open heart surgeries to replace a portion of my heart. Said Johnson. Now she's making Heart Heath for everyone her mission. It kind of felt like a calling for me to get involved with the American Heart Association and work really hard for the educational piece, said Johnson. Between heart walks with the American Heart Association and lobbying for more education and resources in Washington, Johnson has tirelessly worked to make sure women know their numbers, risks and symptoms. Borges cardiologist Dr. Ken Tobin says many times those symptoms go unnoticed or ignored. Most of the patients that have some form of significant congenital disease probably have symptoms. Whether it be fluttering in their chest, whether it be fatigue, whether it be short of breath walking upstairs, things that they probably brush aside. Said Dr. Ken Tobin, a cardiologist at the Borges Heart Center.
For Johnson, who calls herself a heart patient for life, the goal is saving others. The particular prosthetic piece that I have has a life span between 10 and 15 years. So I know that there is the future of heart surgeries going forward. And that's why research and education are so important. So people like me who will be a heart patient forever can continue to look forward to opportunities of continued life, said Johnson. February 8 is the American Heart Association of West Michigan's annual Go Red for Women luncheon in Kalamazoo.